the main event of night one of WWE WrestleMania 40 is official. The Rock and Roman Reigns will face Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins in a tag team match on night one of WrestleMania 40 on Saturday, April 6th. The match was officially announced during Friday's SmackDown episode, where an in-ring confrontation took place between all four competitors. Rollins and Rhodes accepted the challenge issued by The Rock and Reigns on last week's SmackDown for the WrestleMania bout. A stipulation for the match was also agreed to, where if Rock and Reigns are victorious, Cody's match against Roman Reigns for the undisputed Universal title match for night two will be Bloodline Rules, a no DQ match where the Bloodline can freely interfere. If Cody and Seth are victorious in the tag team bout, then the Bloodline will be banned from the building for the Roman Reigns Cody Rhodes match on night two. An additional stipulation was agreed to for the Universal title match on night two, where if Cody loses, he cannot challenge Roman for the Universal title ever again. SmackDown went off the air Friday while the in ring confrontation between the WrestleMania competitors was still underway. WWE Chief Content Officer Paul Triple H Levesque made the official match announcement in a social media post shortly after. Additionally, WrestleMania 40 may not be the only match that Dwayne The Rock Johnson works in 2024. In the new edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer reports that while nothing is set in stone, the belief right now is that WrestleMania won't be the only time The Rock wrestles in 2024. There's a push to get The Rock to work at least one of WWE's Saudi Arabia shows this year. Meltzer wrote that WWE's next Saudi show is scheduled for Saturday, May 25th. There are a lot of variables and factors in play, but WWE would obviously like it if The Rock worked to that event. Additionally, WWE and Logan Paul's Prime have announced a sponsorship deal that places the Prime logo on the center of the ring for premium live events. Beginning at WrestleMania 40, the Prime logo will be in the center of the ring for all WWE premium live events. The first time that WWE has sold advertising on its ring mat. A press release trumpets Prime as WWE's official hydration drink partner, a distinction it also holds for fellow TKO Group Holdings company, UFC. Logan Paul made the announcement himself in a segment on SmackDown, unveiling a sample of what fans can expect. Prime co-founder KSI also made an appearance in the SmackDown segment, taking an RKO from Randy Orton. Logan Paul versus Randy Orton has been teased as a potential WrestleMania 40 bout. Another aspect of the sponsorship deal will feature WWE talent promoting Prime on social media in retail and digital ads for the drink, plus Prime placement at WWE events. More WWE news. Dominic Mysterio is now a married man. The 26-year-old Dominic and his longtime girlfriend Marie Juliet were married in a ceremony this week. Among those in attendance were Dominic's Judgment Day stablemates Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. Ripley posted a photo of herself, Dominic, and Priest together on Instagram. And like his promos in WWE, Dominic got booed when he tried to speak at the reception. Take a look. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for ah! Shifting gears over into some AEW news, Kazuchika Okada is now All Elite. Okada appeared on Dynamite Wednesday after Eddie Kingston confronted the Young Bucks. Okada at first acted like he was going to help Kingston, but instead laid him out with the Rainmaker. The Young Bucks then officially announced Okada would be joining the Elite as they all shook hands. Prior to Kingston coming out, the Young Bucks made two major announcements relating to the Elite. They said that due to Hangman Page assaulting AEW officials, he was suspended from the Elite without pay. They then announced that Kenny Omega, who has been out of action due to diverticulitis, was fired from the Elite due to missing scheduled dates. It was announced back in January that Okada would not be renewing his contract with New Japan Pro Wrestling. His final match with the promotion was on February 24th. It had been reported that Okada was leaning towards signing with AEW after both AEW and WWE expressed interest. Okada's first match with AEW as a full-time member of the roster will air on this week's collision. Additionally, Tokyo Sports reports that Okada's contract with AEW is a three-year deal worth an estimate estimated 13.5 million. If accurate, that means that Okada would be making roughly 
$4.5 million a year in AEW. The rationale for Okada signing with AEW versus WWE has begun to emerge with the leading reason being his desire to work with the elite. In a detailed report Friday, Sports Illustrated's Justin Barrasso stated that working with the elite was the deciding factor in Okada signing with AEW, even though he loved the idea of being part of a WrestleMania and that WWE was under real consideration. Citing sources in both AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling, Barrasso reported that Okada feels his best opportunity to succeed is in his new promotional home, one that will not force he or his family to move from Japan if they choose not to. And then there's his long-standing relationship with the Jackson brothers. Barrasso also reported on the trust Okada has in AEW head Tony Khan. According to the report, it was Tony Khan's idea, along with the agreement of Matt and Nick Jackson, Kenny Omega, and Okada, who decided Okada should debut as a heel with the natural rivalry, with Kenny Omega resuming at some point in the future. Some more AEW news. Brian Danielson and Will Ospreay met at the end of Dynamite. After Ospreay defeated Kyle Fletcher on Wednesday, the two shook hands. However, before Dynamite went off the air, Brian Danielson's music hit. He came to the ring and had a stare down with Osprey to end the show, teasing that a match between the two may become a reality. That's a wrap for the weekend edition of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.